everybody, welcome to Brick Ball. My name is Jack and today is another LEGO collection review. This is all of the Chewbacca minifigs as well as all of the Wookiees. This collection totals eight minifigures. I'm gonna be going through them chronologically in order from when they were released to the most recent one. And surprisingly, out of these eight minifigs, only three of them are actually Chewbacca. That is an incredibly low number of different minifigs for such a classic character in Star Wars. But then again, I don't think his looks ever really changed throughout the movies. Either way, we're gonna break this whole collection down now. I'm gonna let you know when they came out, what sets they came in, and how much they're worth. So let's get started. And what probably comes as no surprise, our very first Wookiee in the collection is Chewbacca. He was released in the year 2000, came out in three sets, the Millennium Falcon set 7190, Imperial AT-ST 7127, and a minifig set 3342. Really quick, this is what the body looks like without the sandwich head torso piece. Just a simple brown body as you can see, so what really makes up all of these Wookiee minifigs is the piece on top. There's actually some aspects about this older Wookiee mold that I have here with this Chewbacca that I think I like a little bit more more than uh, what we see in the newer ones. I'll compare those two pieces when we get to that new minifig, but for the time being, I'll say this is a pretty darn good first iteration, and this minifig sells for around $10. And by the way, that crossbow piece he's holding right now was supposed to be black. I couldn't actually find a black crossbow. But uh, anyways, let's move up to 2003, and this is our new Chewie. He was released in a whopping 10 sets throughout the years, but the first set that he actually came out in was the Millennium Falcon set 4504. Aesthetically, he is exactly the same as the original Chewbacca, except the only difference is the kind of plastic used for his body. You can see the original there is just a little bit darker in that discontinued brown color. Having been released in so many sets, this Chewie is actually the cheapest of all these minifigs here. He comes out to around four bucks on Bricklink, but let's jump up to 2005. This minifig here is our Wookiee Warrior. He came out in two sets. One was the Wookiee Attack Set 7258, and the other one was the Wookiee Catamaran 7260. This mold for the head and body is very interesting for sure. It definitely resembles something closer to like a chieftain, but this also somewhat reminds me of what an Ewok looks like. There's a little bit of printing that goes along the belts on the front and back of this mold, but just like the previous Chewbacca's that we saw, it's very minimal printing, and it still looks a little bit choppy. He's a pretty cool fig, and he's about 10 bucks, and we don't actually get any new Wookiees for nearly a decade until the year 2014, and here is our latest Chewbacca. This guy here has a lot of really nice improvements, actually. Namely, there's just a lot of really good stuff going on with the mold. First off, he's actually a bit taller than the original, which is nice. The way the mold is shaped that shows off the hair looks a little bit better, and definitely the printing really makes it. The first set he came out in was the Droid Gunship Set 75042. He also came out in the Imperial Tidarium Set 75094 and the most recent Millennium Falcon set 75105. And he's actually holding the stud crossbow gun from this set, but I don't believe this minifigure looks better than the original. Aesthetically, they improved upon all of the major features of the minifig. He even has printing on the legs, which is nice. But if you just look at him and the other one, and then look at a picture of actual Chewbacca, you can see that the original just looks more like Chewbacca. This newer mold with just a little bit of modification ends up being sort of the standard Wookiee mold that we see in the later years, whereas the original mold for Chewbacca was just meant to look like a single character, and I think they just pulled it off a little better. Anyways, this guy is around six bucks on Bricklink, but the next minifig for 2014 is this Chief Tarful here. He came out in the set ATDP 75043, and this is probably the best mold that we get for any Wookiee minifig. Not only does this guy have molds for the uh, dreads on his hair, you can see they're wrapped in a bunch of silver ringlets there, which looks great, but there's also a nice bit of simple ornate detailing on those shoulder pads, and even some of the armor connecting the belts in the front. It's a great looking fig, there's uh, also a slightly different printing on the face to show the lighter fur, as well as the printing on the legs. That's actually a little bit different from what we just saw from Chewbacca. He came with this nice old musket piece here, and he too goes for around six bucks. These next two guys came out in 2015, and they came out in the same set, so I might as well just show them off together. This darker one is Wolf Waro, and the set being Wookiee Gunship 75084 came with these two other lighter Wookiees. Just like I mentioned before, the mold to Chewbacca in 2014 is nearly identical to these guys, except now they don't have ammo belts on their shoulders. The printings on their face are just slightly different, showing off some of that fur. And I guess the main thing that makes these guys unique is that they both have printing on their arm. The regular Wookiee figs have a print that looks pretty simple, it just looks like a very small strap, while Wolf Waro has a much nicer print on his arm, definitely a bit ornate and swirly. Here they are now with their weapons, they're both pretty simple. Wolf Waro goes for about six bucks, and these 
these regular Wookiee Warriors go for about 5. And moving up to 2016 now, our final Wookiee fig barely counts as a new fig, but he's basically exactly like the regular Wookiee Warrior before, except now he doesn't have any printing on his arms. He was released in the Micro Fighter Set Wookiee Gunship 75129. He is 5 bucks, and there we have it, we just finished the entire Wookiee collection. My parting thoughts on this collection, I suppose, are that the molds that were used for these later Chewie and Wookiee minifigs look pretty good, but I gotta say that the original Chewbacca is still probably my favorite. I rarely say that the original version of a minifig is the best version, I'm almost always rooting for the latest and greatest, but because this older mold is still just more recognizable, no amount of extra detailing or printing on another mold is really gonna make it better. So yes, I think the original Chewbacca, even with the old plastic, uh, looks the best. And the next minifig I'd like to see LEGO make that would add to this collection would probably have to be Chewie's family from the Star Wars Christmas Special. There were definitely some very unique looking Wookiee characters, and if you haven't seen this Star Wars Christmas Special that I'm talking about, I highly recommend that you um, don't see it. Don't see the special, it really is actually pretty terrible. All right, that's it for this collection review. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy our content, feel free to subscribe or hit that like button. And if you have any ideas about another LEGO collection you might want to see in the future, you can let us know in the comment section below. I really do like making these collection videos for you guys, and I uh, hope you hit that like or subscribe button. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.